So it's that time of week again where we invite back into our studios Nikki Wesley of Metroland. The papers are out. Lots of new stories, lots of new uh, things going on in the community. But one of the major things coming up is Hope in High Heels, and it's for Halton Women's Place. It's a fundraiser, and I love this one because the men get to put on high heels and parade around for ooh, 15 minutes and complain about it. Uh, but it's all for a really, <laughs> really great cause. It is. Um, so it's obviously it's a fundraiser for Halton Women's Place, but it's also um, to raise awareness against violence against women. Um, this year is particularly sad um, as we're um, so here you see Karen Bazo, who's the executive director of Halton's Women's Place, and she's written a column, um, and she says in the column that she was vacationing this year with her kids. They were in line to, you know, get an ice cream. She checked her Twitter feed, saw one of our Inside Halton tweets, an ongoing heavy police presence shooting at Burlington home leaves women dead which she, you know, she forwarded off to her colleagues. She knew what that meant. Um, and as we know, that was um, the fatal shooting of Laura Grant by her husband in her own backyard. And this is exactly what Hope Against High Heels, Hope for in High Heels is trying to raise aware awareness for, that this happens here. This happens in Halton. This was in Burlington. This was her own husband in her backyard. And that's not okay. It's so not okay. And all of these events obviously are dedicated to her and legacy. Yes, so they're so they're dedicated to Laura Grant this year. And so we've got them in Milton and Oakville and Burlington. And you can go to insidehalton.com to get the specific dates if you need if you uh, are up for participating. Great cause. Um, and you can do it, men. You can wear those you heels. You can wear those heels. We wear them. You can do it. <laughs> I have some people I'm gonna send there just because of that. Um, <laughs> Harms in vaping, uh, like obviously, I hear it all the time of these kids uh, getting sick, they don't know what it is, some of them are dying. Vaping is clearly bad. Uh, President mm -hmm. Trump came uh, vocal about it yesterday saying this yes. has to end and so now there, the Health Canada is also looking into it and yes. that's a big part of one of your articles as well. Yes, so we've got a, a local doctor columnist who's written about um, the harms of vaping. Um, September 4th, Health Canada, um, you know, did state, you know, this is harmful. Um, in the states, there's been 200 cases of respiratory illness and a confirmed death, all contributed or attributed to vaping. Um, and you know, there's things in in a vape fluid that aren't listed. Mm -hmm. Like there's arsenic, there's tin, there's things that should not. Be no. in your lungs, and it's you know it's billed as something that you, a cessation tool for smokers, but it's it's become a it's become a thing for adolescents that they think it's okay, and it's not okay. Well, you go back 55 years when your parents were smoking and having you know babies, and mm -hmm. and they thought it was a cool thing to do, and no one had done the science on it, and and now you fast forward 50, 60 years, and now it's vaping, but at least people are getting on top of it now, and hopefully you yeah. know they can nip it in the bud now for our youth. Yes. Um, a third thing you wanted to touch on was an opinion piece by your chief editor and it's to do with the Competition Bureau of Canada. Yes, so the Competition Bureau of Canada is currently looking into what is essentially a duopoly of uh, uh, digital advertising, so between Google and Facebook. And she's, Catherine O'Hara, who's our uh, editor-in-chief, um, is uh, uh, written about um, sort of what that's done to local news. So in the, you know, in the past couple of years, almost 100 um, news outlets, uh, community news outlets, have closed. Um, and what does that mean? That means that some people are essentially in, in a, a community that, that has no news reporting. And so how, so, so basically the Bureau's looking to see, is this fair, is this, you know, it, how, how can we compete? Well, all of these sound like great stories. You can read all about them in Metroland. And if you have story ideas, suggestions, events, get in touch with InsideHalton.com. That's the website, Facebook, Instagram right there. If you have a story idea, contact them. They'll get on it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me.